I had this, um, I guess, youthful arrogance, I think. Like when you're younger, you don't really have maybe some of the same fears because you're completely oblivious. And it's sort of a nice um, comfort, I think, of youth sometimes. You're just like happy to be there and bright eyed. And um, I was thrilled to get called in to the national team, but also, like I said, I'm really doubting myself that I belonged there. But I had this like push and pull in me because I had this insane self-belief that showed up in, in spats, right? And I'll talk to you a little bit about that. So as a, as a young kid, uh, like a lot of teenagers, I slept through an alarm on this like first work trip, right? And so I missed the team breakfast and uh, nearly late for training, but I just like got my training gear on and got to the bus in time to go to, to training. And after the training session, Julie Fowdy, who was captain of the team, brought us all in and basically said, you know, there's some people that have been breaking the rules a little bit, we're getting a little bit loose right now with some schedule and, um, you know, to make up for this blunder of somebody on the team, uh, we're gonna run some full field sprints. <laughs> and, uh, well, running was kind of my forte, right? Like, I was like a speedster and very fit, so I was like, in the back, like, I can't believe one, anybody noticed, they don't really even talk to me anyways at breakfast, and so I was very surprised that they noticed that I wasn't there, but I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make up for this huge mistake. I might never get called back into the national team ever again. And then also I was like, but I'm also fast and I'm gonna kill these sprints. <laughs> and um, so we lined up, everybody lines up, the coach goes to the other side of the field, uh, drops her hand, and I just bust out of there, like flying, lift my left, lift my right, don't see anybody. At that point, at 17 years old, I genuinely thought I was that much faster than the best athlete in the world. <laughs> that like I wouldn't see them in my peripheral vision. And I got like 50 yards out before I recognized that nobody was running. They just did this to play a trick on me. <laughs> it was their way of being like, honey, get to breakfast on time. 